in all these things, we begin taking our first steps on the water into the next stages of life, walking by faith. We begin preschool, high school, college. We start working, get married, have children, move to a new place, start dealing with health problems. We're aware that the wind and the waves are there, but our eyes are fixed on Jesus until flash, kaboom, the honeymoon ends and marriage becomes real work. You fight with your partner. It seems like you're always fighting. Raising children is harder than you ever thought it would be. They don't listen. They don't seem to care. They don't give you a moment's rest. They don't leave you alone. The older your children get, the more able they are to hurt you. School is fine at first, but now it's overwhelming. The daily slog of homework. People who are friends one day become frenemies the next. You're not just doing school, you're doing soccer or dance or student council or whatever. When you do get a break, it doesn't even really feel like a break. Work is overly stressful, overly hard. You're barely staying afloat. You're wondering how much longer until you're going to get laid off. You wish your boss would stop breathing down your neck. You see the double standard that exists at your place of work based on relationships, not on performance. You move to a new city, but you're struggling to make any kind of connection or friendship. Family is so far away. You miss them. Everything's different here. Your health is failing. Your joints don't bend like they used to. Everything aches. You dread going to the doctor because it's always bad news these days. You struggle with cancer, with Parkinson's, with dementia. You're taking care of someone who has health issues and that's dragging on you too as it takes more and more of your time. The bills are piling up. You're afraid to go to your mailbox. You can barely afford to make rent. You get sticker shock every time you go to the grocery store. The car breaks, the water heater breaks, the air conditioner breaks, the microwave breaks. Our country? What can we even say about our country? Inflation's high, interest rates are high. People are divided and divisive. People are waiting with bated breath to see what's going to happen in next year's election. Will this country still be a safe place for me and my children and my grandchildren 10 years from now, 20 years from now? I could go on and on about the wind and the waves that you see. But you know what wind is blowing against you. You know what waves are crashing down on you. I wouldn't be surprised to learn that even if you put on a brave face here at church, you're secretly sinking. You're desperately drowning. And you try to climb back on top of the water, but your hands have nothing to hold. You try to stay afloat, but the waves keep crashing down on your head. You feel like you're suffocating, choking, drowning. Lord, save me. These are the most powerful words you can say. What you need at this moment isn't someone who can just show you what to do to get you back out of the water. Someone who will cheer you on and say, yeah, you're doing a good job as you're there trying to keep your head above. What you need is Jesus to reach out his hand to catch you, to pull you out of the water. Lord, save me. 
Jesus does. 